Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So firstly, it is quite early in the morning for me. So it is quite bright right now. My camera is in the lowest of brightness, but it is still pretty bright. So please bear with me throughout the video. It will come back to its normal lighting so yeah for today's video i am going to be testing out the city paradise palette by mars cosmetics now i have both the palettes which is the dili as well as mumbai mary john but in today's video i'm going to be testing out first is the dili palette so before we can test the eyeshadow and face palette if you have not already then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it notified whenever i upload and now let's jump run the video Okay, so we are super zoomed in and I have already done my base makeup so my foundation concealer and eyebrows are done now the main reason is because this kit has like a face palette which has a highlighter the bronzer the blush as well as a face setting powder and obviously it consists of nine beautiful eyeshadow shades so first I'm going to use is their face palette and in that I'm going to use the setting powder first because it has been a while since I applied my concealer so I'm going to take like the powder puff and go with the shade Dolma Auntie uh, which is right here so much of powder has come through okay I'm glad it's a good match And now I'm going to go with this beautiful pink blush and there is actually very less fallout which is good. Oh I forgot to mention that the shade name for the blush is called Kulfi Faluda and I like all the names it's very cute very nice so yeah that's that and we are right now going to move on is to the bronzer which is Chandani Chok right here however this is quite a bit dark uh, for a bronzer this is more like a contour shade so I'm taking my usual contour brush which looks like this and uh, I'm gonna remove the excess because it does seem to be quite dark and uh, let's see how it looks I'm gonna take this brush which I usually use for nose contour so quite dark so I have removed all the excess product from this brush just so that I can blend it. So I'm just taking like a clean brush by the way it is broken and uh, just gonna blend it so I'm gonna go back with the face powder with my powder puff and uh, just apply to the places that I need it Now the bronzer which is more or less like a contour because it is a very warm toned brown shade a little goes a long way now I am very heavy handed so my nose contour in the camera does look a little bit whack but in person in the mirror it looks kind of fine uh, but yeah it is quite pigmented and it blended seamlessly as well which is surprising so I'm going to use the highlighter in the end not right now and let's finally move on is to the eyeshadow palettes now one thing that I noticed and I really like is that this single row over here you can make like one eye look the second row you can make another eye look and this row you can make like one single eye look which i really like about this palette now today i think i'm gonna lean more towards the bluer shades so let's see so on my eyelids i have used is only a concealer which was a while back i have not set it with any powder as such and for the first shade i'm gonna go with this orangey shade right here which is called india gate Again, no much fallout. Just gonna tap off the excess. And I'm gonna use it like a transition shade. Oh. 
Oh, one thing is that this color actually looks a bit more peachy on the eyelids rather than orange. Uh, I don't know why, but I thought it looked more orangish on the palette, which it does. But on the eyelids, it does look a bit more peachy, you know. So for the next shade, I'm going to go with this color right here, which is like a dark brown or it could be black i'm not so sure once i apply it i will know but it's called night queen so i'm gonna take this eyeliner brush and uh, hope for the best <laughs> it's dark brown i'm gonna take another flat clean brush Okay, so this was just to add a little bit of depth when I add my eyeliner later, but so far so good. I may add a little bit more later on, so yeah. Now next I'm going to add this blue shade right here, which is called Yulu. Uh, I just want to add it without adding any concealer or cutting my crease, just for shits and giggles, just to see how pigmented it is, and we will see if we need to add concealer or not. So I'm going to take a flat brush like this, and... Okay, the brush is not wet or anything, but let's see how it looks. Not bad. I'm sure it's going to be much more bright and vivid once you use like a concealer to cut your crease and then use it, but... I don't mind this color. It looks like a very turquoise sort of color. I'm going to take the same brush. I have cleaned it and I'm going to go with Banta, which is this shimmery sort of a blue color. Now again, I'm not going to wet the brush or anything. It's just on a dry brush. I'm going to use it. Okay, now coming back to the dark shade over here, I'm going to go back with the dark brown color in a small brush like this. So I'll quickly add the eyeliner, mascara and falsies off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Eyeliner is on, mascara, lashes as well. I have uh, also added is the kajal. Now I'm going to take the same dark brown shade with this brush and just blend on my lower lash line difference now last one of the least is the highlighter now i'm gonna go with this shade right here which is called cp on a fan brush i really like the highlighter as well it is very finely milled and it's a very subtle sort of a glow which i like so yeah, this is how everything looks like. Now I'll also zoom you guys in a bit more and I will add uh, a video of how it looks on my phone camera as well. So I have zoomed you guys in a lot more and this is how everything looks like, which I am very, very happy about. Now, especially the eyeshadow. Now I thought it is not gonna work out. I'll have to remove and redo it with some other shades, but it looks really good. After Right after I added the eyeliner, it looked so good. But uh, overall, I do like how everything looks like put together. Overall, in my personal opinion, I do love this makeup kit and I cannot wait to create more eye looks, which I may upload it as shorts or reels if you follow me on Instagram. And I will also be reviewing is the Mumbai Mary John palette as well, just to compare both of them and see how different they are. Oh, and I almost completely forgot to mention is that these are priced at 399 rupees, which I really find to be worth the pricing because you do get like a nine pan eyeshadow palette plus a blush, a bronzer, the highlighter and a face powder as well. And if you do wait for a sale, like for example, right now on Nykaa and on Amazon, it is priced at 340-ish sort of rupees. So make sure that it is on sale and then buy it if you're planning to. And lastly, if I do have any additional thoughts, I will add it in the description box below. You can check that out. And finally, this wrap today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to me so notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try and it for you as well as follow me on my socials which is shanayar on instagram and shanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye